Hello from the streets of La Paz, Bolivia. Today I'm going to talk a little bit more about self-care while traveling. Because it might sound pretty obvious, but I can reassure you, it is not. And I'm going to share some tips and tricks of what you can actually do while you're not at home or even while you are at home. Good morning. A couple of us back I sent Joe to climb Huayna Potosi, which is a 6,000 meter mountain. And I'm gonna be spending a couple days in La Paz by myself. And I intend to take care of myself as best as I can. And the first thing on the list is to sleep as long as necessary. So I slept a couple hours and I feel good and we're ready to take on the world. And I hope during these couple of days I'm able to meet some new people, have some cool adventures by myself and dedicate more time to self-care. And we're gonna see how is it possible to take care of yourself in Bolivia's capital town, La Paz. Trying to make my way to the private saunas and the streets are not that busy and that, that chaotic as they were yesterday. Let's go in and see what we got. This is gonna be interesting. It's gonna be like four euros for an hour of sauna. So I'm gonna get ready and enjoy my one hour of relaxing herbal sauna. can't see anything but it's super relaxing I feel like I'm in a spa there's definitely like 70 degrees in there and it's pretty nice you see eye of the mountain below keep careful watch of my brother's souls I didn't even know I needed it but it doesn't have to be a sauna or a spa that you go to just block your eyebrows or shave or have a massage or something relaxing and good for your body that you enjoy. What can be better than your sauna? Ice cream! Next stop is gonna be find, finding a good hairdresser to dye my hair. Good luck. I think I found just the place. So we have decided that we're gonna go uh, to the roots with the pink and to the ends with the purple. We'll see what, what comes out of this. This is the pink color. It looks pretty long already. It's gonna be crazy. hairdressers the end result is not as strong as I would have wanted to still think it looks pretty nice pretty happy with the beauty procedures and another great thing that you can do for yourself is go to your favorite restaurant or just somewhere outside have a great meal that your body craves and have a coffee. My go-to self-care thing to do when I worked back in Estonia was to take my reusable cup, go to my favorite cafe, have a coffee and a bagel and then walk in the park for the lunch break time. Afterwards I felt so taken care of that I had done something right that showed me that I really liked myself. This is how I'm spoiling myself today with gourmet burgers. When was the last time that you went on a date with yourself and did all the things that you wanted to do? The self-care thing, it takes some time to figure out what works for you. And I started journaling to get to a different end result than I did before and have a different outcome. I don't write much every day because I don't want it to become an obligation but I write five things every day that I'm grateful for. 
meditation, especially mindfulness meditation for me is something that always helps me to ground myself. It has been a tremendous help for my mental health. I take at least five minutes. Now I just do it because it helps me feel even better. One thing you can never get enough of doing traveling is just walking around. But sometimes you just gotta take some time to walk nowhere. Because exercise is quite hard when you're traveling. You don't have your gym, you don't have your group who you used to train with. One thing you can do everywhere, especially when it's hot, is yoga. But walking works well too. It helps to clear the mind and it's a great source of moving your body. Sometimes when you're walking around and then when you're walking around like me, who doesn't have any sense of direction, you can end up in really cool places. And if you get tired of walking, sitting down and reading a book is uh, something that's so relaxing. Since we travel so light, I only have audiobooks. And my go-to audiobook is still the Harry Potter series, read by Stephen Fry. I can't get enough of it. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by J.K. Rowling. Chapter 1. And if books, audiobooks and podcasts are not your thing, then listening to music while walking in a city gives a sort of rockstar feeling. My favorite to listen to while walking is definitely rudimental. And I've listened to them for over six years. Music makes you feel powerful. Be happy. What better way to show yourself some love than to learn a new skill? And YouTube is a pretty good website to do that. Last but not least, if you're having a day to yourself and you're not exploring anything, something that really takes care of my soul is going out with a friend. That's so sweet. I would say the same. Two days ago, I have no list. And I think you could live up to the expectation that strangers are friends you haven't met yet. So just go to people. Wow. So friends, self-care is sexy. And you deserve a day off even while traveling. See you next week with some new adventures.